Hi everyone, welcome to Notescraft. Today, we're going to introduce you to the world of John Fowles, a renowned English novelist known for his intriguing narrative style and complex characters. Among his many works we're focusing on, The French Lieutenant's Woman, a compelling novel that merges the past with the present, love with loss, and freedom with constraint. It's a literary voyage that promises to engage, provoke, and inspire. So, let's delve into this fascinating work. The French Lieutenant's Woman, a novel that weaves a compelling tale. An enchanting narrative set in the Victorian era, John Fowle's The French Lieutenant's Woman is a story of love, social norms, and existentialism. At its heart, it's the tale of Sarah Woodruff, a mysterious and complex character often referred to as the French Lieutenant's Woman, due to her scandalous past relationship with a French sailor. We also meet Charles Smithson, a gentleman and a paleontologist engaged to the pretty and conventional Ernestina Freeman. Charles, however, finds himself inexplicably drawn to the enigmatic Sarah, setting the stage for a tumultuous love triangle. This is not your typical Victorian love story as Fowles cleverly intertwines elements of mystery, drama, and passion. The novel explores themes of freedom and personal choice, challenging the rigid Victorian societal norms. Sarah, a woman ostracized due to her past, embodies the struggle for individuality and freedom, while Charles represents the tension between the expectations of society and personal desires. As the plot unfolds, Charles's fascination with Sarah deepens, leading him to question his engagement with Ernestina and his place in society. The narrative is richly layered, filled with symbolic encounters and introspective dialogues, reflecting the inner turmoil of the characters. The novel takes an interesting turn when Fowles introduces the element of metafiction, breaking the fourth wall and offering us, the readers, alternate endings. This narrative technique not only challenges the conventional storytelling methods, but also invites us to question the concept of fate and free will. The French Lieutenant's Woman is a rich tapestry of love, betrayal, and existentialism, set against the backdrop of the rigid Victorian society. Its characters, especially Sarah Woodruff, leave a lasting impression, embodying the struggle for personal freedom and identity amidst societal constraints. This summary gives a glimpse of the intricate layers that Fowles has built in this novel. Fowles has explored numerous themes in this novel. This is where we dive deeper into the essence of the French lieutenant's woman, exploring the main themes that Fowles has masterfully woven into his narrative. Firstly, we have the theme of love, a universal concept that transcends time and space. Love in this novel is not just about romance but also about self-discovery. The relationship between Charles and Sarah is not your typical Victorian love story. It's complicated, messy, and painfully real. Their love is a journey of self-exploration, pushing them to question their identities and values. Next up is freedom. Fowles doesn't just present freedom as a desirable state, he explores it as a complex, multifaceted concept. For Sarah, freedom is about escaping the constraints of Victorian society, about breaking free from the expectations imposed upon her. For Charles, freedom is about liberating himself from the shackles of his rigid upbringing and societal status. Fowles invites us to question what freedom truly means, and how far we're willing to go to achieve it. Lastly, we delve into the theme of social constraints. The Victorian era was a time of strict social norms and conventions, and Fowles doesn't shy away from portraying this reality. He highlights the societal pressures and expectations faced by his characters, particularly Sarah, who is ostracized for her unconventional behavior. Through Sarah's struggle, Fowles critiques the restrictive nature of Victorian society, urging us to reflect on the constraints that still exist in our own societies. But these themes aren't just confined to the pages of the novel. Fowles' exploration of love, freedom and social constraints transcends the Victorian era and speaks to us even today. We may not wear corsets or top hats but we still grapple with the complexities of love, the pursuit of freedom and the pressures of societal expectations. Fowles reminds us that these struggles are inherently human, timeless and universal. These themes are not just relevant to the Victorian era but resonate even today. Fowles' narrative techniques are a significant part of what makes this novel so engaging. In The French Lieutenant's Woman, Fowles uses some truly innovative narrative techniques that set his work apart from others in the genre. To begin with, Fowles employs metafiction, a technique that involves the author breaking the fourth wall to address the reader directly. This is a bold move, one that essentially serves to remind us that we are, indeed, reading a work of fiction. But why would Fowles do this? 
Well, it's a way of challenging our perceptions of reality of questioning the very nature of storytelling. For Fowles the line between fiction and reality is blurred. He wants us to question what is real and what is not, to ponder the authenticity of the narrative. Then, there's his innovative narrative structure. Fowles doesn't just tell a story in a linear fashion, no, he weaves his narrative in a way that is both intricate and compelling. He uses multiple timelines and alternative endings to keep the reader guessing. This isn't your typical beginning-middle-end kind of novel. Instead, Fowles presents us with a labyrinth of possibilities, a maze of narrative paths that can lead us in any direction. It's a journey that's as unpredictable as it is enthralling. Moreover, Fowles often uses his narrator not just to recount the story, but as a character in and of itself. The narrator's voice is distinctive, opinionated, and at times even contradictory. This narrative voice adds another layer to the complex tapestry Fowles weaves. It's as if we're privy to the author's thoughts, his musings on love, freedom, and the human condition. In conclusion, Fowles' narrative techniques are not just about telling a story. They're about challenging the reader, making us question our own perceptions and assumptions. It's about creating a narrative world that is as immersive as it is thought-provoking. Fowles' narrative techniques serve to draw the reader deeper into the story, making it a truly immersive experience. The historical context of the novel is integral to understanding its impact and relevance. The French lieutenant's woman, penned by John Fowles, is set in the heart of the Victorian era, a period marked by strict social norms, repressed desires, and a clear demarcation between the genders. The novel, however, stands out as a challenge to these Victorian sensibilities, offering a critique of the era's rigid moral code. The Victorian era, with its emphasis on propriety and decorum, serves as the perfect backdrop for Fowles to explore the themes of freedom, choice, and individuality. The protagonist, Sarah, is portrayed as a woman who dares to defy societal expectations, a stark contrast to the submissive female archetype of the time. The novel also reflects the scientific and intellectual revolutions taking shape during the Victorian era. Fowles makes use of Darwin's theory of evolution, a controversial topic of the time, as a metaphor for Sarah's personal evolution and her struggle against societal constraints. Moreover, the historical context is not merely a backdrop, but an active participant in the narrative. Fowles uses it to amplify his themes and characters. The rigid Victorian society acts as a foil to Sarah's rebellious spirit, thereby enhancing her individuality and sense of defiance. The historical context not only sets the stage for the story but also enhances its themes and characters. The French lieutenant's woman holds a significant place in literature. A true game-changer this novel with its unconventional narrative style and metafictional elements has been a major influence in the realm of postmodern literature. Its exploration of existentialism, freedom and the nature of love, set against the backdrop of the Victorian age, has provided a fresh perspective on these age-old themes. Fowles's masterful blending of historical fiction with postmodern techniques has inspired subsequent authors to push their creative boundaries, to question the linear narrative, and to engage more directly with their readers. The novel has also sparked numerous critical interpretations and debates, enriching the field of literary studies. Its enduring appeal is evident in the numerous adaptations it has spawned, including a successful film and stage versions, cementing its status as a cultural phenomenon. The novel's influence extends far beyond its pages making it a seminal work in literature. So, we have journeyed through the captivating world of The French Lieutenant's Woman. We've delved into the intricate plot, met the enigmatic characters, and explored the riveting themes that Fowles masterfully weaves into his narrative. We've also examined Fowles' unique narrative techniques, which challenge traditional storytelling norms and invite us to question our own perceptions. We've placed the novel in its historical context, understanding the influences of the Victorian and postmodern eras that Fowles so skillfully integrates into the narrative. And finally we've acknowledged the novel's significant place in literature, a work that continues to inspire and provoke thought even decades after its first publication. In essence, The French Lieutenant's Woman is more than a novel, it's a timeless exploration of identity, love, and freedom, a testament to Fowles' genius. Thank you for watching. Please like and share our video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you appreciate our content, kindly let us know what you'd like to see next in the comments down below.